since I enrolled with realpython.com, it's really helped uh, my learning and it's actually sped up my learning. I'm Brian O'Sullivan. I, my career, I work in airline revenue management, which is all about how how to optimize how many seats to sell and at what price. I would describe myself as somebody who has got strong foundations in computer programming languages, but who's out of practice. It's only in the last couple of months that I've decided, you know what, I'm going to spend some time uh, learning this really cool language that everybody's talking about. You, if you're if you're like me and you know eager to learn this language, you'll find huge mountains of resources online. Some are out of date. Some are pretty poorly, uh, pretty pretty poorly put together. And I wanted a one central source of Python information that I could trust, that was pretty well put together, was structured well, uh, and had a mix of videos and tutorials. I suppose no one wants to give money for something unless they're guaranteed it's going to be quality. And what I really liked about realpython.com is if there were if there was a topic, let's say string literals or something like that, there would be let's say eight parts or eight chapters in that uh, module of content. The first three were released for free. So it really gave me comfort that the money that I would be paying for uh, was going to be well spent. So with realpython.com, you get access to um, the full suite of their information and their information about Python is endless. So there are there is a huge table of contents with everything you would need to know um, from a beginner at Python to someone who's more intermediate to someone who's really advanced. And um, th that content consists of tutorials and videos. My aha moment uh, was with object-oriented programming. So object-oriented programming is, uh, is a really, uh, it can be a really tricky way to model how you would program things. And I'd been introduced to it before when I was in university uh, while studying another language and it never quite landed. The concept didn't land with me. I must admit I felt really intimidated sitting down while I was studying Python because the memories of my lack of understanding and comprehension. What I found uh, with realpython.com is that the uh, subject matter for object-oriented programming was broken down in such a stepwise and small chunks of important information in a bit-by-bit -bit fashion that by the time that I had gotten to the ends of the chapters, I'd find found that, oh, things are finally slotting into place. That makes sense. Aha, got it. I found that uh, since I uh, started using realpython.com and enrolled, I found that I'm understanding topics more clearly. I have access to such a rich repository of information. My confidence in my ability to program and my confidence in Python has just grown exponentially since I started using realpython.com. I would have been, you know, quite nervous and apprehensive and fearful of potentially some certain topics as someone who hadn't programmed for a while but was looking to get back into programming. And realpython.com has given me that confidence to try out new things, uh, to jump into new topics that I would have previously assumed that were uh, pretty difficult. And it's given me the confidence and support that I need to start developing as a programmer. I definitely recommend Real Python. There's so much information there and it's delivered really effectively. They've got a huge emphasis on quality. Um, it's bite-sized and broken down in chunks, so you never feel like you're overwhelmed.